How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious videos going around the internet. So smash that subscribe button right now and get ready for some creepy content. Just like this. Oh my god. The Tesla thinks there's somebody on a bike next to me. Reddit user Larry recently shared a perplexing video over on our Slapped Ham subreddit. In the video, Larry, seated in his Tesla at a Starbucks drive through points out a curious anomaly captured by the Tesla Vision camera. But there's nobody there. I'm going to drive through at Starbucks. Oh, man. I'll slap him. <laughs> the Tesla detects a biker beside the car. But as you can see, there's clearly no one there. Ain't nobody there. <laughs> oh, now it's supposed to be up there. What? Come on, bro. Larry, intrigued by this bizarre occurrence, returns to the same spot the following day and records another video. Same Starbucks. Strangely, this time, the Tesla Vision camera fails to pick up anything at all. Yeah. No ghost. So the question arises, was there a glitch or malfunction on the first day causing the camera to detect a non-existent presence? Or could there have actually been a spectral figure in the area that only the Tesla could detect? Man. The unsettling footage raises intriguing questions about the capabilities of our advanced systems and leaves us to decide whether it was a technical hiccup or a glimpse into the otherworldly. I'll slap ham. <laughs> hey peeps, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode is sponsored by Purity Debt Solutions. What I love about Purity Debt Solutions is that they provide customizable debt solutions, whether it's personal, credit or student debt, to help you achieve the financial freedom you deserve, offering tailored programs that fit your unique needs, budget and future financial goals, so you can finally find relief from debt and start saving money now. We all know the cost of living's going up and if you're slogging away to make those payments every month on your debt and you feel like it's just not going down, then this program's for you. You can save thousands in interest and fees and pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. I wish I had something like this when I was a student at university to help manage my debts. PDS rolls all of your monthly payments into one low interest-free monthly payment. PDS Debt is offering a free debt analysis. It only takes 30 seconds. So head over to pdsdebt.com forward slash slapped ham. That's pdsdebt.com forward slash slapped ham to get your free debt assessment today. So what are you waiting for? Give Purity Debt Solutions a go. There's a special link in the description box down below there and it's also pinned in the comments. For feline enthusiasts and cat owners alike, a recent video circulating on Facebook has sparked a mixture of bewilderment and concern. In an unidentified household, a heartwarming scene turned bizarre when security camera footage captured an unsuspecting kitty going about its nightly business. Out of nowhere, the cat is lifted into the air by an unseen force. The perplexed homeowners, who remain clueless about the origin of this mysterious occurrence, express their astonishment. Of course, the footage is so out there, many viewers suspect that the whole thing is just a hoax. But there are some who think this poor kitty encountered a poltergeist during the night. The Battle of Gettysburg, fought during the American Civil War in 1863, stands as one of the most significant and harrowing battles in the nation's history. Over the course of three days, the fields around Gettysburg, Pennsylvania bore witness to a monumental conflict that would leave an indelible mark on the war and the nation itself. 
The battle resulted in a staggering death toll, with estimates suggesting that between 46 and 51,000 soldiers from both Union and Confederate armies lost their lives. Among the many infamous sites on the battlefield, Devil's Den, located on the south end of Hook's Ridge, is known for its rocky terrain and its role as a vantage point for artillery and sharpshooters during the battle. Today, it's a place of historical significance and a tourist attraction that draws visitors from far and wide. Recently, a follower of the Facebook page Ghosts of London submitted a chilling photograph taken during a visit to Devil's Den. The photo captures their young son exploring at night time. But take a closer look. There appears to be an eerie grey face just over the young boy's left shoulder. The haunting image has reignited the age-old debate about the possibility of paranormal activity at Gettysburg Battlefield. Given the battle's immense bloodshed and the countless lost lives in the area, it's not surprising that many believe the site is haunted by the restless spirits of soldiers who met their tragic end on those hallowed grounds. As a result of the immense loss of life during the battle, Gettysburg has long been associated with ghostly encounters and unexplained phenomena. Visitors and paranormal enthusiasts often report strange occurrences, from apparitions and phantom sounds of battle to unexplained lights and eerie feelings of always being watched. While skeptics may dismiss such accounts as mere folklore or the product of overactive imaginations, the chilling photograph captured at Devil's Den raises intriguing questions about the possibility of lingering spirits in this historically significant location. In the realm of modern photography, capturing the bizarre and unexplained has become a captivating endeavour. Facebook user Raymond Meyer recently shared an intriguing photograph to our Slaptam Facebook community page, sparking an online debate. This eerie image, captured during an early morning walk by Raymond's cousin, features two strange grey figures at its core, one resembling a girl and the other a dog. The eerie thing is, Raymond's cousin says there was no one around when this image was taken. As discussions unfolded on our community page, some pointed out that the photograph's overall quality appears blurry, potentially suggesting motion blur or optical artifacts. In the realm of digital photography, such anomalies can create deceptive images, blurring the line between the supernatural and just camera quirks. The photo, like many others of its kind, leaves us with a tantalising mystery. Is it a genuine paranormal encounter, or just a byproduct of digital photography's idiosyncrasies? Take another look and decide for yourself. <laughs> this next eerie piece of home security footage comes from the Facebook page Mysterious Clips and Vids. The video, dated October 7th, 2020, shows the homeowner working out in his living room. But soon, things take a turn for the strange. Quickly, more eerie things begin to happen. Hello? Inanimate objects move seemingly all on their own. So could this home really be haunted? Some viewers have noted the man seems to be overacting, pantomiming that it's cold and that he's scared with exaggerated movements. Does this hint at a hoax? I'll let you decide. Before we take a look at an eerie photograph captured in the Missouri State Penitentiary, 
Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and unsettling videos. Exploring historic sites often unveils hidden mysteries and Facebook user Sue Roberts stumbled upon an intriguing enigma during her tour of the Missouri State Penitentiary in Jefferson City, Missouri. In a photograph captured during the tour, a group of visitors can be seen walking through one of the penitentiary's eerie stairwells. However, a blurry figure lurks just behind one of the tour participants. Whatever it is, it lacks any discernible features and looks grey and gaunt. Could this spectral presence be a ghostly inhabitant of the infamous Missouri State Penitentiary? The penitentiary, which operated from 1836 to 2004, has a dark history, including serving as the site of 39 executions by gas chamber and housing notorious inmates like Charles Ray Hatcher a serial killer responsible for 16 deaths. Hatcher ended up hanging himself inside one of the cell blocks in 1984. Given the prison's unsettling past and numerous claims of paranormal activity, the possibility of encountering restless spirits within its walls isn't so far-fetched. The Missouri State Penitentiary has even attracted the attention of television shows like Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures, as well as the travel channel's Destination Fear. While Sue Roberts' photograph adds to the mounting intrigue surrounding this historic site, the identity and intentions of the mysterious figure remain shrouded in mystery, leaving us to wonder if it is indeed a glimpse into the afterlife or merely a trick of the camera. Now, in case you haven't heard the awesome news, we've launched a brand new second channel. If you want to see the latest episode, check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist there you can binge on. Now, leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest or weirdest. We love hearing your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 